Hello. I'm going to show you this time how to clean the machine, to clean the rails, the lid screw, and how to put grease again uh, on both. Some users have problems with this, uh, not to clean in the, um, the right way, and so the machine could bind because of the particles that's left, left inside the rails of the, um, or the thread of the lid screw. Okay, what do you need? You need some paper towels. I use kitchen towels and I cut them in four pieces, so I have several of these little pieces. You're gonna need WD-40. In case you don't have WD-40, you can use isopropylic alcohol, but I prefer WD-40. You're gonna need the grease supplied by the by Stepcraft. It's the um, Microloop GL261. If you don't have this, um, I recommend you to get one. Some users have said that uh, they use some lithium grease instead uh, for cold temperatures. In my case, I live in Mexico City, so I don't have uh, too much cold here. And uh, I use one time the lithium grease, the white lithium grease, and personally, personally, I didn't like it because the grease gets sticky all around the um, the machine and it binds the machine more. So uh, I used the, the original grease provided by Stepcraft and it works perfect here on my, on my machine. Okay, so first, how do you clean the rails and the lid screws? Well, you take a little piece of paper, you fold it, and you put some WD-40, not on the rails, not on the lid screw, but on the paper. If you put this thing here, you're going to make a mess. And if the WD-40 gets uh, in touch with the um, uh, with the legs on the machine, they, they will fall out. Okay, so I put this thing inside and I press so I don't make a mess. And I have a little W40 here, so w what I'm going to do is, let me close the camera a little bit. First, I'm going to clean the rails. So what I'm going to do here is, with W40 here, I just pass it through here. And you can see all the grease stays here. Of course, if you pass this again, you're gonna you're gonna um, put more grease on top. So you f you fold this to the other side, so the grease is staying inside here, and clean the upper part, and you get all the grease here. Now, if you see right now, the rails are very 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 clean, just with just with one pass. All the dirt, it's gone. Okay, now, how to clean the, the lid screw and the rails? You can use a different one than this one, or you can fold it again, so you can have the, the, the grease inside the, um, the paper. And to clean the uh, lid screw, to get rid of all the dirt inside. You need to turn on the machine and turn a, get it on the UCC and C and move the feet, the jug feet, about 20 or 30%. And the trick here is that I have to put the paper towel here in front of the, of the gantry and I'm gonna put my nail inside the thread here so if i put my nail inside the thread when i move the machine to this side all the dirt and all the grease is gonna get inside the paper because i'm cleaning the thread with my with my with the paper and and my nail so if you see 
the lid screw on the other side it's getting super super clean now all the all the dirt it's getting it's getting inside my my nail and and the paper so you have to do this uh, <coughs> one one pass to one side and then to the other you can go a little faster but you have to be, be careful with your fingers not to to squash them so you're gonna see that all the dirt it's here Okay, let me finish cleaning this. So you can see what's next. So let me click, take out these things, and let me keep cleaning this. Now, maybe you notice that when you're moving to the opposite direction, uh, on the rails, uh, they get they get dirty again because some of the dirt it's inside the rollers. So what you have to do it's when when this is very di very dirty, take it away and grab a new one, new piece of paper, fold it. Oops. Put some WD-40 and clean the rails again. So maybe two passes here and everything is gone. You can uh, also clean the the rollers if you want, but this it's not necessary because all the grease is going to stay on the on the rails again. Uh, if you clear the rails, it's gonna get rid of the dirt tip on the on the roller. So I'm on the other edge of the machine now. I put the paper on the opposite side and start moving the machine to the opposite side. Again with my fingernail inside the thread. Oops, I have to take out this. And again, all the dirt is going to get into my paper. All the way. I have to be careful on the end. Look all the dirt from the thread. Now you see on the on the second pass here on the rails, the, uh, the rollers don't uh, throw too much dirt here because we this is the second pass. So I make another pass here. I can also clean the, put the paper on the back of the um, little screw so I can clean the, the rail from the back sometimes gets very dirty and that's it that's how you clean the machine two single passes and that's it it gets perfect perfectly clean let me make a close-up here so you can see that now the rail and the lid screw it's very 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 clean how often do you have to make this Every time you see the grease is getting dark, it's time to clean the machine. I, I don't I don't wait uh, too much time to to clean the machine after it's getting dark uh, to avoid uh, problems. And it doesn't take you more than 10, 15 minutes to, to do this. So you have to clean it like this on the um, both sides of the um, of the X axis and also you need to do this on the X and C axis. Do the same. Okay, now, how do you put uh, the grease? 
first the first thing that you need to do before you put the grease is to move the machine on all the axes to the center so in this case I'm gonna I'm gonna put the, the grease on the X so I'm gonna move the machine to the center Now, I'm going to use a brush like this one. This is a fine brush. And I'm going to use the grease here. And why on the middle? If you put the, the gantry in the middle, if you put the grease here and grease here, uh, when you move the machine, this, it will, uh, um, the, the grease is going gonna, gonna to be on both sides of the, of the brass nut. So, you're, you're not gonna put all the grease on, on a single side and how much how much do you grease you put like this very small amount not too much first I'm gonna start with the lid screw now if you see it's not too much grease just enough to, to put it all along you don't have to put it with your finger because if you use it with your finger you're gonna mess, make a mess here with all the grease you don't need too much grease just enough to cover all that little screw and then the same you use a little bit of grease and you put it here on top of the um, of the rail now here now on the other side now on the bottom And there you go. Now let me show you how much grease is this. Let me make a close up here. Okay, now there it is. There's not too much grease, just enough to cover the rails and the leather screw. Okay, and for the for the final part, for greasing, it's moving the machine a little bit to one of the sides, and put a little more grease here where the machine stands before we put it, and there you go. You have the machine greased, cleaned, and ready to work. So, the first time you're gonna use it, move it all the way back and forth one time, so the grease um, disperse along all the uh, lead screw and all the rails, the rollers. And that's it. You have the machine clean it and grease it. Okay, I hope this helps you. See you next video. Bye.